Hello! Alright, am I audible? Did I actually unmute myself this time? Oh boy. Alright, let me just make sure I have my train pass all set up correctly. Three minutes exactly until it spawns. Alright. 20 to midnight. This is four in game hours. Alright, our first target of today is going to be Endoceris. Um, this is a pretty straightforward one, um, all things considered. Mostly because Spoonworm does not catch anything else as far as I'm aware at this point. Um, yeah! I am... I have not tried to do any old big fishing since, um... I think I hit big fish in Shadowbringers, so I have... No, I didn't hit big fish in Shadowbringers. I hit big fish, like, slightly afterwards. Um, like, a little bit into Endwalker, but I had already gotten all the annoying ones. So I was just sort of, like, kind of mopping up the strays at that point. So this is going to be really fun seeing um, what is what is left um, to do on a lot of them. Um, so I'm actually really looking forward to um, Armor Fish. I think, I think Triple Hook Prize Catch and... Um, nice. Yeah, I think Triple Hook Prize Catch and Mage of Spade are going to nearly... Not trivialize it, because I think it's still going to be really slippery and rare, but, like, popping intuition, I think, with those three skills is going to be a lot easier. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Um, I should probably make sure I'm actually ready, since the window opens at um, midnight, right? Yeah. I only have one monitor, so I'm, like kind of scrambling here yet yeah, zero to four got it all right let me actually get all of my stuff one monitor life yeah i know i'm actually playing this off of my laptop um it's sort of amazing how much uh this poor baby can handle because it's a couple of years old at this point too so if you ever see it chugging out a little bit that's because i tabbed over to another window to look for something <laughs> All right, 11.45. Do, 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 do. The, the anticipation, the last few moments. Let me make sure this is Spoonworm and not Plumpworm. <laughs> I put all of my, my uh, ocean bait over here so I wouldn't accidentally grab uh, krill instead of northern krill or whatever. All right, this is probably good. Endoceris is nice because it is actually a powerful hook set catch, which is is always nice for one of these. All right, window closes at four, so that's eleven minutes. So let's go. Time to find out if my my good big fish luck on everything but Ruby Dragon still holds, or if it's like equalizing back to the mean. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I got a little excited for a second there. I probably shouldn't have caught that. Oh well. You can tell this is an alt because I haven't caught anything. My fishing log is like, look at all that. Undiscovered, undiscovered, undiscovered. Everything's just undiscovered all the way through. It is a new, new fish. I do love new fish. What I gotta do is like once, um, once the month is over, like I don't, I don't seriously anticipate catching everything in 37 days because that would be, that would require luck, um, on par with the gods. But um, once this is, once, once the uh, Bobby comes back from bait, oh, no, oh. <laughs> once Bobby comes back from vacation, I need to actually get around to. It. Trying to catch all of the um, various other big fish. 
not not um not about the big fish, but I actually like finishing out my fishing log just because having all these holes in it is just makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> all right. Well, on the bright side, I'll have enough for a makeshift bait after this. Presumably. <laughs> oh, okay. Makeshift bait time. Man, I love makeshift bait. People were talking in the fish court a little while ago, and they were talking about how, like, um... The, the Endwalker skills were, like, I guess subpar. And I, like, I cannot possibly agree with that as long as Mayship Bait exists. It is just, like, ludicrously powerful. Like, literally just not canceling Mooch. Like, just that alone is so... over the top. Yeah, short windows, but even like long ones, because you can chain it so trivially. Because it doesn't cancel. Because like, um, Ruby Dragon, since you can just, um, because uh, if you show up early enough to Ruby Dragon to build up 10 stacks before the window opens, you can just chain off of the QR. You don't have to, um, oh, ooh, is there anything else that's a triple bite here? I forget. Yay! We got one! Oh. One second. Boop. Yay! First one! And it's a legendary! We did it! Alright, um... So, I have seven... No, I have more than seven minutes. I have a little bit until the next one I actually had plotted. Let's see what's up. Um... Horned King in the River of Sand. Okay. Oops. To the River of Sand. Off I go. Um, oh, which direction is the River of Sand? That's the one north of Mordsuk, right? Yeah. Oh my god, yeah. For Placodus, that's so good, because it lasts the whole spectral current. I forget what I forget how to catch Celic. Oh yeah, Celicanth is there too. Oh yeah, because it's a legendary, so there's gonna be a, a a regular big fish in the same thing. Except for um, actually, I need to double check. Is there a regular big fish in Prism Lake? I realize suddenly I forget. Um, that's magma worm. That's not what I want. Are there any other like that, or is Prism Lake the only one? Because I feel like it's a weird case. What is Horned King Mooch off of, I realize suddenly? I just kind of showed up here and started blasting. Oh, with Horned Helm? That's a double. Wrong bite. So maybe I should slap this. Oh, that makes sense. Man, everything about Eastern Lenosha is weird. <laughs> Lenosha, Lenosea? I have no idea how to pronounce that. Lenosha, yeah. I want to say it because it looks kind of like ocean. So I just sort of instinctively do that. I definitely sort of slapped something suboptimal. <laughs> oh well. I'm not gonna be here for very long.
Does my next window even open? I realize suddenly. In seven minutes. Oh, I have time. Is this what? Oh, could this be moochable? I hope so, because my patience ran out. Yay! Alright, let's go. I love when patience runs out on the mooch fish, because it means I don't need to bother remembering whether it's precision or powerful hook set. Oh. I'm going to have to remember after all. Oh. Shoot, it's a mooch loop. Uh... You can tell that I wasn't expecting to go for this one at all. I didn't look up anything. <laughs> oh. I weep. Let's see, let's see. So, oh. I think this window probably closes. Actually, I don't know when this window closes. Check that while this is. Oh, in ten, eight minutes? Oh, I have plenty of time. Let's see here. Something I forgot about like, in my memory, a lot of the big fish have like 20 minute windows. But when I was putting together just like my list here, I was surprised at how many of them were like, why did I do that? I have like one brain cell. Oh my god. Slap the crab. I was surprised when I was like putting together my like little list of targets. How many of them are like really like in the 5 11 minute range? Like I remember it being more 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 in the longer windows, but I guess not. Or maybe it's the ones that are higher, like more common that have the longer windows. I guess that makes sense. Uh, well, sometimes the most scuffed attempts are the ones that work the best, you know? <laughs> Honestly, almost always, I feel like. Yeah, we bait now. How long before my actual next target? Three minutes. I'll start making my way over as soon as the sum. As soon as this makeshift bait expires. Yeah, I think that the scuffed ones tend to be some of the most fun just because like sometimes when you over prep and everything goes wrong, it's like depressing and disappointing. But when uh when you show up scuffed like four minutes late to the 11 minute window, nothing prepped, no stacks, completely swagless, and you still manage to pull it off, it's just a lot more fun. Alright, now I know that it's a mooch loop, so... <laughs> Uh, 
Oh man, I think I mentioned this um, when we were chatting the other day, but my um, my successful whale catch, I um, mooch cast the horizon event that turned into my whale literally as intuition was falling off. Like as I was mashing the mooch button, I heard the chime. <laughs> it was like the tensest experience of my life. Did I get it? Is this it? I feel like this is it. Yay, that's two. Yay, this is going well. <laughs> All right. Um, time to make my way over to Dragonhead Latrines. Get like this way, right? This is it, I think. Uh, I still have a minute, so time for my my surefire way to test to make sure this is actually the fishing hole. I think it is because I didn't go around and check what they were all. Make sure they were all my fishing log before I started. Yay, dragon head latrines. Okay. What is it that I want to slap? I want to slap uh I think a SEMA. Yeah, that looks like the that looks like a good a slap target. So it's kind of a longer double bite. Looks like either of the double bites are a good slap target though. That's not a double bite. Now the window opens in 23 seconds, so I'm kind of starting to. Let's go. How long is this window? Oh, there we go. It's a five minute window. All right, let's see here. Seema, there we go. And the window's open. Perfect. That was good timing. All right. I don't know what time the window actually closes, but it's in five minutes, 32 seconds. I have to keep like tabbing over constantly. <laughs> oh, a bunch of people. That's nice. Oh, if this is it, I'm gonna scream. Oh. <laughs> that would have been funny. Well. All right, let's see here. No. I think that was it. I don't think there's any other triple uh, triple bite here. <laughs> All right, five minutes means the window ends at seven. One thing I kind of wish, I love the I love the Carbuncle plushie train tool, but I do wish that it showed um the the in-game window times um rather than just the real world ones. Um I should like put in like a a, a ticket or something to comment on that just cuz I think that would be a a minor improvement on it. This is my first time using this like as an actual train tools so that's not something that I had actually noticed before I made one like bullshit train <laughs> as a joke um, because I found that there was a, a window in like a year and a month or two 
um, that has all 30 legendaries spawning in a little over a day. Um, I think that would be funny. Maybe not, not, not as like a train, but as like some kind of, I don't know, like a derby or something. You can do something with a single 28 hour window where all 30 legendaries spawn. There's something there. I don't know what, but there's something there. I got like slightly jump scared by the music when it started. <laughs> All right, two and a half minutes left in the window. Come on, come to me toilet fish. I lost my wildfowl fly. So sad. There's something really like uncomfortable about the fact that I'm fishing in the latrines. There's also something really uncomfortable the fact that these dudes are like sitting in the latrines. I think about this a lot, like ever since I found out the name of the fishing hole. Like this doesn't look like it drains very well. Like I just don't like that very much. There's something really uh it's really unsettling. Unsettling's not the right word, it's just gross. Like, that's just what it is. Like, look how shallow this is, there's no way it's like... It's just like stinky poopoo water. <laughs> oh god, and I'm standing in it like, ankle deep. TB over there has the right idea. Oh, how long is left of the window at the very end? Are they just bailing a little early? They're just bailing a little early. Yeah, I've seen some funny perches. I like the ones that are like on the borderline of out of bounds areas. And something that I think is kind of fun is when you're um, doing like S rank stuff and everyone just like lines up at like some completely random spot kind of nearish where the S rank is like on a cliff or something. Alright, this is my last cast. Did I luck out? Dawn Maiden? No. Ugh, maidenless. Alright. Um, next one is Vidofnir in Ale Tome in the Charting Mists. But that is in two and a half minutes. Is there anything else up right now that I can go for? Um. Uh, not really. I might as well just make my way over there, I think. Yeah. Where's the... That's closer to Mogholm. Oh, that's fun. That's a good one. I like, um how high up you can get on Kugane Tower and still be able to fish. Where is the actual Iltum fishing hole? Actually, it's good that I left myself some time. Time to pull up the fish map card. Because this is a fucking miraculous development. It's only one. I love the fish map site. <laughs> I 
I love Rara's map. I love it so much. Here it is. This thing is saving my ass so much on, like, anything Heavensward especially. Because, like, the Heavensward areas are, like, the worst by so much. Alright, 50 seconds. Brute Leech. Um, and what should I be slapping? I should be slapping Noontide Oscar. Alright, let's see here. Oh, you just got up to the top of Kugane Tower today? Congrats. <laughs> Even if you did cheese it. <laughs> you can't fish from the very top. There's like a cutoff point at some point on the way up where you stop being able to fish. There's like a height limit, and it's like really kind of arbitrary. There we go. And Vidofnir is open now, right? Yeah, so you got five and a half minutes. <laughs> so let me guess. Oh. So are you like self-destructing and then getting um getting revived up to be with uh someone who knows how to do the jump puzzle really well? Nice. I knew some people who cleared the um Oh, there we go. That was easy. <laughs> the Duffnir. I know some people who cleared the like holiday one, um, the the summer, the summer festival one like that. Four minutes. What can I do with that? Um. Man, four minutes is not a lot of time. Just so you're not already in position. Um... Uh... And I'm like waffling so much on how long it's taking me to decide that I'm gonna run out of time. Ugh, everything that like is up right now takes too long to get to. Yeah, no, all these are like a million miles away. I might as well- oh, it's gonna take me forever to get to the next one. Next one's Bishopfish, that's a clear pool. That's gonna take me, like... Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that one's really public. At least Kugane Tower, it's like... Not that embarrassing. It's kind of embarrassing when you try to get onto the lamp at the very end, and you just, like, smack onto your face. <laughs> Clear pool is the little cave at the end, right? Please be the little cave at the end. Yes, okay. I hate Kurthus Western Highlands. I mean, the Heavensward areas have the worst etherite placement. Like, just a universal. <laughs> yeah, it took me three tries to, to get the lamp, which means I actually did make it up the tower three times. I was like an expert by the end. <laughs> But it's like, I, I I grew up playing platformers, so like crappy jumping mechanics are like something that I've been kind of 
born and raised to to do. Here we go. Clear pool. It's gonna be brute leech again. What should I be slapping? Alright, what am I catching? Bishop fish. Probably curp and crab. Yeah, if I catch a curp and crab, I should slap one of those. Now we wait. How long do we wait? Um, 24 seconds. <laughs> Man, this is really pedal to the metal today. I made the path, so this is entirely my doing. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. We all right. How long is this window? Oh, eleven minutes. All right. This is one of the long ones. People were talking in the um in the fish court yesterday like what the what the like final final hellfish was for you. And I did it the way that I did it was that I like kind of deliberately bottlenecked myself. Like I pinned basically a few of the rarest ones, like um Ruby Dragon, Cinder, Illid Scan, um, and a couple of just like the very, very low uptime um like very low uptime uh regular big fish and i just like didn't seriously attempt to big fish until i had caught all of them Ooh. oh shit did i get him i did <laughs> i'm on a hot streak today Yay! All right, what can I get to next? Um, let's see. Um, what else is up here? Um, anything fun is up right now? Anomalocaris is up in the Sea of Clouds. And Kurt the Central Highlands. Okay, let's go for it. That one's annoying. Let's see if we can knock that off the list. Hoverworms. I wasn't planning to go for this one, so I don't have the hoverworms in my inventory. Mm 
<laughs> oh god, yeah, no, I've done that. I just see Sea of Clouds and I'm like, yeah, Sea of Clouds, I know where that is. <laughs> Immediately just warp to, um, for me it was, um, Akazundu, or whatever it's called. Um, Hoverworm. Yeah. Oh my god, wait, where's the actual hold start? This is just a mooch off of a cloud cutter. Yeah, nothing crazy. And it is also a powerful hook set. Okay. And I actually don't have a ton of time, so I'm just gonna use this to sort of fill. Yeah, right. This is what makes Rama's fishing map so good. <laughs> I'm just gonna use this to fill a couple of minutes before my next one is up. I'll just do two, um, two full patience twos. And then I'll bail and go to the next one. It won't last any longer than that. Oh god, when I was doing the um the the um fish fest scavenger hunt, I wasn't using Rara's map, so trying to figure out where anything was in um or like trying to rule out spots in like the churning mist um or the, the sea of clouds was a nightmare because I didn't know where the actual fishing spots were. So I was just like cruising around the entire like map trying to figure out like, whether I could line up any exact spot exactly anywhere. And it's just, like, horrendous. Oh. Sag. Man, these Realm Reborn Big Fish are so slippy. Like, all of them are just so, so slippery. Oh, whoops, that's the wrong button. <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna work because that's the wrong button. I realize I left Discord open. Probably making annoying pinging sounds. Just quit that. I always leave Discord open. This is my worst my worst habit if I'm streaming I need to make sure to close Discord. <laughs> yeah, right. That's the only mech that they have that. The second one is the worst for this. Like When I was doing it, I was doing like a little like introducing the Bob Goblin Blitz thing. It was mostly for like um, my friends who were not like in the fish cord and tune into my streams every once in a while just to kind of explain what the fuck that it is that I'm doing. Um, I'm not catching that. Just to explain what I was doing. And the, the example fish that I use for one that I would probably catch off stream um, if it wasn't like in between something more interesting was fat purse but honestly it'd probably be the second one even if the second one was like near something interesting maybe i would just turn off the stream and guess, catch it off stream the second one is so boring oh my god because it's slippery it's slippery and stupidly rare i hate it worst fish in the game I mean, actually, my, my actual pick for worst fish in the game is Lancet Fish, just because jailing won't save you. Um, 
that's my my genuine view. No. I don't know why I keep trying to catch the second the second fish here, even though I know that Cloud Cutter doesn't mooch loop. <laughs> Hope maybe. The music in Kurt the Central Highlands, or uh, yeah, Kurt the Central Highlands, sure goes really hard for a song that's like a 45 second loop. It means you just get hit with that really dramatic, like, constantly. <laughs> It makes it lose a little bit of the punch, which is kind of funny. Alright, let's see what we got. This is probably the last one I have. Last cast. Assuming this is a cloud cutter. Yeah, alright, last cast. Then I have to make it over to uh, Vorsien Siran. Or Vorsien Siran. Nah, no anomaly Karis. Oh well. Alright. Vorshen Siran is the one that's actually water. If I recall correctly. Yes. Thank you, fishmap.card.co. Once again, you will save my ass. I love the Super Mario Galaxy music that plays here. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. The fish log map doesn't update automatically as the overworld map does when you fill it in. I never noticed that. Mostly because by the time I was doing big fishing in my um on my main it already filled in the whole map. Neat. Alright, where's the water? Alright, what is my bait? It is going to be Brute Leech again. Alright. And I want to slap Bubble Eye. My boy. Fish is open. Bubble eye. There we go. Nope. I like going for a lot of these very short windows because it's very. I don't know if exciting is the right word when it comes to, to, to fishing a bunch of windows, but it's very frenetic, you know? I am like doing something constantly. I don't have time to like really relax. <laughs> And it means that even if a window doesn't work out, the next one's only in like 10 seconds. 
Man, I love this train tool, though, because it makes it so much easier to organize. Like, the organizational aspect of this is absolutely brilliant, because it means that, um, like, when you're just, um, like, just looking at the whole Carbuncle Plushie main tracker, like, it's so easy to get completely overwhelmed with choice. Like, just narrowing it down to, okay, I have, like, an hour and a half, what's even up? And then just, like, picking and choosing them in an order, laying them all out in a row, and then making sure there's, like, a little gap in between everything so that you can actually make it from one to the next. Like, my god, this is a, this is a game changer. <laughs> like, I mean, you saw how much I just sort of sat there floundering as soon as I didn't actually have the uh, uh, next thing. I'm just like, oh, I've got three minutes, so what can I go catch? Well, now I've got two minutes, what can I go catch? Well, now I don't have enough time. I guess I didn't catch anything. On to the next one. <laughs> Just booking it from one thing to the next is really nice. Yeah, I love having that. It's really good for the short windows, especially. Just stick a bunch of these, like, five-minute windows back-to-back. -back. It also makes it a lot easier to prioritize, because it ranks them, um, like, automatically, so you don't... Because the main tracker, it's hard to see, like... If I look at it now, and I look, like, what's up, I, like, won't notice that, say, like... Cinder isn't up in the next, like, two hours, but, like, if Cinder was up in an hour and a half, I might not notice that, because it's not, like, near the top unless I had it pinned. I would only see the stuff that's, like, spawning in the next 15 minutes. Unless I specifically went to look at Cinder, because I know that it's super rare. Narrowing it down to just, like, a little snippet of time makes it a lot easier to prioritize. I think it's super helpful. The fishes get so many good tools. Our cup floweth over, or our cup runneth over with the, with good fortune here. My cup does not runneth over with good fortune though, because I got a minute and forty-three seconds left on this window, and I am not getting that. <laughs> Inkfish, come to me. Ends at four. Yeah, less than a minute left. It is amazing how short five minutes is when uh, every cast is like 15 seconds. <laughs> oh. Wow. Like one or two, depending on how short the next fight is. Probably only one. Nope, oh, nope, I got two. Alright, last cast. Alright, do I get lucky on the final cast? Nope. Alright. We got four minutes until the next fish is up, but it's got a really, really short window. Uh, it's Fingers in Crescent Cove in Western Thanalan. So I'm just gonna start making my way over there. I left myself a little gap on this one just because it's got a, a, like a... Fish eyes it. 
Oh shit. I didn't even check fish eyes. Where am I? There it is. Oh man. Thank you, Fruity. I did not know. Or rather, I did not check that at all because I forget that fish eyes exists as a matter, of course. Um, what was the bait for this? <laughs> Northern Krill. Um, Oops. What am I looking at? Is it open now with fish eyes? Finger. Oh yeah, it's open now. Oh, it's like permanently open? Wow. Okay. <laughs> Dang. Neat. I'm gonna let my GP recharge. Is this permanently up if you're using fish eyes? Oh, that's funny. I didn't realize that. <laughs> Just slapped something before I did that. What is this? Fuck lobster. Yeah, I should probably use fish eyes more. But I'm so used to just looking at Carbon Plushy Tracker just without fish eyes active. Um, what you do? Rock Lobster? Punk fish. That's not right. Fish eyes. And even with fish eyes, Bob Goblin Bass doesn't show up for 19 days. <laughs> Absolutely stupid. What an absurd window. Like, how did we as a society allow the Bob Goblin Bass to happen? It's very funny, though. A couple of hours in years, yeah. <laughs> it's like Haley's Comet Fish. Alright, Fingers is actually open now. Should have put that in space. That would have made sense. I do like the whale, though. The whales are fun. Fun space whale. What do I have on my list after this one? I have an overly long gap. Did I leave that there on purpose, or could I just not find anything to squeeze in there? Hmm. 
I don't think I'm getting fingers here. Short, short window. I'm going to come back and fish eyes for this off stream. Um, just because it's probably going to be kind of dull to watch. Um, next, next one I have on my list is in 11 minutes of the Quadrivium, so I need something else to do in between. What is up? Let's see. Anything fun? Anything bad? Okay, Kuna the Killer is like always up, so I'm going to ignore that. Um, mm, Void Bass. Let's go for it. Void Bass. Wrath Frost. Where is Wrath Frost? Um, oh god, it's all the way there. Alright, Mordona. Let's go. What's the bait for that? Um, Glowworm. Yeah, Void Bass loves to go on long vacations too, so that's definitely one I should be prioritizing. I have like a little sticky note that I have um, on my desk of ones that are worth prioritizing when I, that's not my bait list, ones that are worth prioritizing when I know they're going to be up and there isn't something else more valuable, and Void Bass is one of them. Where is Wrath Frost? Here it is. Ah, I see someone else have the same idea. This is a straight catch. Uh, void bass. Yeah, just glowworm straight catch. Alright. What should I be slapping here? The Sabardian bass. I should have actually checked what the bite on those Spartan bass is. Something that I feel like uh, Realm Reborn does a lot that the other exp the expansions don't do is that the overworld music loop is like a minute long and it just sort of cuts out. Like the night themes for the other areas do that, but I feel like just having it be complete silence like right off the bat. I guess kind of spooky. Giant bass. That's not what I want. <laughs> there we go. Little Spartan bass. Let's go. And now to just kind of cross my fingers and hope that I get a Void Bass in the next, so, five minutes. Because then the next one that I have on my list will be popping. Mm 
I mean, it's so weird seeing like Void Bass, like, oh, it's up again in an hour. Oh, how can it be that rare? RNG sure is a crazy thing. I wonder if there would be a way to do like a, a comet themed fish that had like really rare or regular up or like really rare but like super regular uptime that if you like made it to the window it was basically a guaranteed catch like a zero percent slip rate it was like the only thing that bit during its window or like with its bait it would be the only bite but its window was like every like four weeks real world time and just to like a continuously shifting point something like a stupid like that really annoying to stick it in the middle of the night on a weeknight and have it just shift off by like three hours every time oh a bunch of void bassers Hello. Oh, I know why I'm not catching things that I want to. I haven't turned on my cast light. It's so obvious. Without my cast light, how will I catch anything? Rule number one, you gotta turn your cast light on. It attracts the fish. Basic, basic rules. Got about another minute and a half before I'm gonna bail. No bites so far. Well, he's in the right bait, right? Yeah, I am. The little paranoias. Forty five more seconds. Probably only two or three more casts.
Man, I'm so mad about the timing of the maintenance. My like my first stream of the Bob Goblin Blitz was gonna be after um I have raid at eight, which is why I'm doing this kind of. Oh, oh, uh, oh, no. All right, one more, one more cast. Come on. That's my last one though. Sag. I was gonna do a. There was an Elit Scott Widow at at ten thirty, and maintenance fucking ate it. <clears throat> All right, Crystarium. I was like, oh, that was perfect. Uh, I'll, I'll do my first stream after a raid. Uh, Fruitworm, Quadrivium. Where is that? That's like in the markets. Um. I probably could have teleported. I probably should have teleported. The actual water here. That's not water. The eternal struggle. Where is the hole? <laughs> uh, if I had more than like ten seconds, I would pull up the the fish map. Oh, it's over here. I remember now. Should I slap this? Um, nah. I'm gonna slap a... Actually, I probably should have slapped that. Oh well. Now I'm gonna slap a... Yeah. The other one if I find it. This one? Alright. Should have slept the lags and carp. Oh well. It is what it is. The die is cast. <clears throat> well, at least I've gotten bites on everything that I haven't caught so far today. Because I got a Dawn Maiden bite, I got an Anomalous Terrace bite, and I got a Void Mass bite. So it's not like they've just been like complete flops. And that's what really matters. As long as you get a bite, it's not a failure. Yeah, the endo catch was quick, too. That was, like, surprising. <laughs> that was really fast. It's been a while since I went for, like, the Realm Reborn legendaries, so I wasn't expecting any of them to go really quickly at all. Um, and that one just, like was instant. <laughs> Next one after this is Armorfish, which is like the only one of any of these that will require like strategy, uh, skill, thought, uh, anything beyond surface slap, patience two, and chum. So... <laughs> that one's good. That's the one I'm looking forward to. It's like kind of the the centerpiece of tonight's stream. Last time I went for armor fish was like way back. Um, I actually remember I went for armor fish like um, before I knew that there was a distinct class of legendary fish that you could look up. Like I knew there were specific ones that people said were really hard. Like I knew about Cinder Surprise and Ruby Dragon and Lancet Fish and um Elid Scan. Um I knew these were these were infamous and rare ones. 
I started fishing like right at the tail end of Shadowbringers. Um, so I knew these was were like the hard ones. And I knew, oh, a sea butterfly was one that I knew was hard. But like, I didn't know there was like legendary fish as like a distinct class. So I just saw like armor fish was like the next one on my like uptime marker. So I'm like, all right, I'm just going to go catch that one. And I rolled up to the window and I absolutely failed utterly. And I was like, huh, why was that so hard? <laughs> and then it took me like five tries. <laughs> just increasingly like confused frustration and just like why is this one so difficult i don't get it because <laughs> like the other ones that are like legendaries have like really impressive names because like stethacanthus and like ruby dragon like, these are all, like, very impressive names, but, like, Armorfish just, like, feels like it's not a major one. Like, nothing about the name makes it seem like it's going to be a legendary. Like, it simply doesn't feel like it. Like, the name and, uh, like, the way it looks, like, just the icon, nothing about it screams legendary the way that a lot of other ones do. And just, like, the intuition is six hedgehog crickets, like, it doesn't seem that hard. What's so tough about it? Alright, this window's closing fairly soonish. This might be my. This is looking like it might be my first true flop of the night. <laughs> One or two more casts, depending on how short the next one is. One more, one more, come on. All right, unchummed, let's see what happens. <laughs> I need to update my macro. I have this set for ocean fishing, so it like counts up really tightly to 10, and then like doesn't count past 22. Ah. First total whiff. Alright, next up, Armorfish, Upper Thaliac River. This is the stupidest frickin' etherite placement in the entire game. Like, I cannot believe that they have not put an etherite somewhere in the Dravanian hinterlands to this day. Like, come on. Put one, come on, please, just give me one. Like, just at the far end. This is such an annoying placement. <laughs> Yeah, the Aetherite situation in the Heaven's Word is, like, awful. Because, like, this one, literally none. Like, literally none. <laughs> That's just silly. Like, Aziz Law having just one in the corner. Kurthus Western Highlands having just one in the corner. Um, sea of Clouds having two, but, like, a long kind of the same edges. Churning Mist isn't that bad. Giovanni and Four Lands, they're actually like spread out decently well. I'm missing one. No, oh, no, I'm not missing one anymore. <laughs> Alright. Uh-oh, maintenance notification. <laughs> Leave me alone. Leave me alone, I just want to fish. I 
shit, only 30 seconds. I didn't get here early enough. I shouldn't have caught that. Oh no, I didn't give myself enough time to prep for armor fish. This is a mistake. Uh. So what I was gonna do was I was gonna uh, identical cast, prize catch, and then um, wait long enough for all of my GP and then triple hook, but now uh, now the window is open, so that's like a stupid plan. Oh, I fucked up really bad, because now my high cordial is on cooldown too. Oh, I've, I've whiffed it horrifically. I've done a really poor job. Poor showing, poor showing overall for me. Let's at least double hook it. How many hedgehog crickets do I get out of this? What is a double hook for? Double hooks for three? Okay. Good to know. Incredibly poor showing on my part in terms of setup. Complete whiff. Absolute failure. <laughs> I had a plan, I had a plan, and I utterly failed to put it in motion. get one intuition window off. I'm going to be so embarrassed. Here we go. I should actually put a timer on my intuition too. Or not on intuition too, I should put a timer on Mooch too, because I had no timer on it and it was just like, how long has it been? Who knows? There we go, make sure bait time, let's go. No GP lost. Something at least went right. Having to use patience too on this one is a whole uh, royal pain because I know from personal experience that I will instinctively use powerful hook set every time. I will instinctively powerful hook set this guy. I know I will. <laughs> and it's like I have it like burned into my memory. This is a precision hook set one. You have to precision hook set, but I won't. Of course now I'm just like not seeing hedge mole crickets now that I've got intuition. And makeshift bait up. Come on, crickets, come to me. Well, at least I got a few mooches under intuition, so I can't call this a failure, regardless of what winds up happening.
but I no longer perceive anything out of the ordinary. Flop. Four crickets. That's identical cast. Um, let's see. Oh, I should have eaten some food so I have more GP for this too. completely flopping all over the place. This is a horrendous use of GP. This is embarrassing. I'm just like panicked. I'm ashamed to be seen in public like this. Uh, <laughs> I'm judging myself more than anyone. <laughs> God, showing up without enough GP just completely threw me off from the start. That's not... Can I just get some Angler's Arts? <laughs> no, apparently not. Alright, let's go Patience 1. <laughs> the Desperation play. <laughs> Please. Oh, thank God. Precision hook set, precision hook set, precision hook set, precision hook set. It's a precision hook set. The hook set is precision. If it's triple, it's a precision hook set. It's not powerful, it's precision. It's not powerful, it's precision. It's a precision hook set. Not powerful, precision. Precision hook set. That one's powerful hook set though. <clears throat> See if I can get one more Hedgemall Cricket, since the window's pretty close to close, too. Nah. Nah. 11 seconds left. Ugh, complete flop. Oh, well. Alright. Let's go do something else. <laughs> uh, that's just embarrassing. Um, let's see. Twitchbeard's up. Let's go get Twitchbeard. <laughs> An attempt was made. It was so scuffed. Oh my god, though. That was embarrassing. Oh, I just totally beefed that. I had such a I had such a plan. Um wait. I have missed unlocked, right? Do I not have the mist unlocked? <laughs> I need to actually go around and unlock all the housing wards, I think. Um, mm, um, 
shoot, um, shoot, um, Uh, Soul of the Martyr at the Landlord Colony, I guess. For like a minute. What's even the bait for that thing? Giant Greenfly. I'm gonna get like three casts off before it's time to go to the next one. <laughs> have very very little time i'm gonna give it like literally a minute i'm just gonna slap the first thing i catch and then just sort of spam chum until something for like a minute next up we only got two two fish left we got golden pipira and riddle so i actually originally um was only planning to start streaming at 7. Um, I wound up finishing making dinner earlier than I thought, and I actually only had a, uh, a schedule made for three fish. It was only going to be armor fish, golden papira, and riddle. So, um, technically speaking, I've already actually exceeded my uh, expectations for today in general um, by the fact that I've already caught one more fish than I was planning to even go for. So, uh, this has been a very successful first day already. Alright, last cast. That was like a nothing time. Alright, let's get out of here. So their bows closer. What's the bait for this one? Robber ball. Let us go. Oops. You can see how much I've actually explored the map by the fact that I haven't even uncovered where the waterfall of Mural's Tears is. Let's go, let's go. Meryl's tears, what should I be slapping? Like either of these are fine. It's only like three fish you can even catch here. <laughs> I started fishing before the window even opened. <laughs> Whoopsie. Over enthusiastic. Silly me. Mm -hmm. 
This is a really short window, wow. Two hours. Or one hour? Yeah, whatever it is, it's like two and a half minutes. I need to get a navigator's brand so that I get this quest off of my quest bar here. <laughs> Wawalago can take that away from me. And so that I can actually have Feast of Famine up. Less than a minute until window closes. This train thing is good for, like, knocking a bunch of them out. The problem with the pedal to the middle approach is, as I just saw with Armorfish, uh, not being able to actually prep properly for the ones that are actually a little tricky. But that's fine. That's fine. Alright. One last cast. Nope. Oh well. Alright, and last one. I left myself several minutes to actually get over there because it is at Annex Old. The worst labeled fishing spot in the entire game. This is not a unique experience. It took me so so long to find this stupid fishing spot. Uh, it's like... Part of me almost wonders if this is like an error or a glitch or something. Because like... Why? <laughs> In case anyone is watching in the future, or right now, I, don't, I never look at my viewer counts while I'm live, um, who doesn't know, this pedestal up here is Annex Old on the map. The fishing spot for Annex Old is this random rock right here. Because why not? Makes perfect sense. God. It's so frustrating. Alright, I have a minute to actually catch my breath here, and by a minute I mean 45 seconds. This is a mooch, so there's no point in slapping anything. I'm trying to catch a lava crab. And it's a powerful hook set. 
So I'll be using patience too this time. All right. And this is the longest window of the night. Um, depending on how long it takes, if I run out the window, this is going to be like my conclusion. Um, if this, if I actually catch it like relatively quickly, I might go try and hit up some other like quick final window. Um, but this is probably going to be uh, where my where my night ends here with this rather long final window here catching riddle the real riddle here is why this is annex old and not annex old right there i'm not exaggerating so this pedestal here if you fish from here that you get the fishing hole for the rest of the cave like i'm not near it like look how far away i am this is so stupid <laughs> i hate annex old Nope, someone else is here. Hello, fellow Annex Old Endurer. It's so far. Like, why is it so far away? I'm gonna slap this stupid crab. Sort of god. Like, I almost feel like it's a mistake, right? Like, has anyone reported it as a glitch? Like, do you think it might actually be an error? I wonder if they'd fix it. Like, it just feels like a mistake. Something about it feels like they literally messed up. Get out of here, lava crab. There we go. And this one is a powerful hook set. I'm gonna catch this anyway just to build some angler's art. I guess the nice thing about the really nice long window, like, I think 23 minutes is, like, kind of excessive for a window, but the good thing about it is that, like, it actually lets you, like, juggle patience, too, and make shift bait back and forth a couple of times. Makes the, like, long-term management a little better. So if you say show up low GP, uh, you're not completely hosed like I was showing up for armor fish, uh, unprepared. Whoopsie. So my plan for Armorfish was I was going to catch a Hegemal Cricket, identical cast, prize catch, and when the window opened, triple hook, and triple hook, um, I asked yesterday in the fish court, it gets you 5 to 7, so that would be guaranteed to pop in, and I would immediately get 5 to 7 Angler's Art stacks. I would have a, a large one immediately ready to um, mooch, and um, I would also be able to use the next Hegemal I caught um, Mooch 2, and then I could pop Makeshift Bait um, immediately with the 5 to 7 Angles Art stacks I caught. And that just, like, simply didn't happen at all. <laughs> it was, like, the perfect plan, totally flawless, completely failed. <laughs> and so it goes... At the very least, I never wound up in a situation where I caught a hedge mole cricket that was like normal sized and like was not able to mooch it. That would have been the that would have been the worst. Get out of here, you.
Yay. Alright, let's see here. I already made this joke, I'm gonna make it again. The real riddle is why this spot is annex old. Yuck yuck. Makeshift bait, let's go. Like sense myself getting more impatient with the uh, with the animations. Yeah, I'm like never running out of GP right now. This is nice. Hello! I am. Um, I actually caught one that wasn't on my list, and I have not caught a bunch of them that were. I'm on the 10th one that was on my list. So I am technically three for nine so far. <laughs> <laughs> three for nine i'm on the tenth and final one and i got a bonus fourth so overall that's about what i would have expected <laughs> hoping to get now oh, come on hoping that i'll be able to get the uh the tenth one though since it's a nice long window Thank you! You can go away, granite. No, lava crab, lava crab can go away. Immediately pop a second makeshift bait. I love makeshift bait so much. It's way too good. <clears throat> the triple hook makeshift bait prize catch combo. Like those three skills together are just like absurdly powerful. Especially if it's something you can triple hook for seven. So you can just prize catch, triple hook, and get seven angler's arts. Voila, immediate makeshift bait. And since makeshift bait doesn't cancel a mooch opportunity, if it's something that was moochable, congrats, you immediately have like a mooch chain going, if it's a mooch chain. Alright. And this really is a long window. This has got pretty low uptime, even with these long windows, so I figure this is a nice, uh, conclusion. Okay, 
Yeah, I'm slapping this. Go away, whatever you are. Get out of here. Of course, it's lava crab again. Now I know that fingers is always up with fish eyes. That one's a lot easier to get. I'm gonna dramatically deprioritize that because that goes from like extremely low uptime to literally permanent uptime. <laughs> oh, come on, come on, come on! No, oh. boo. Oh, whoops. I can mooch to this, it's fine. I should actually like go through the list. I didn't have that much time um, for prep stuff because I was too busy trying to like mainline my way through the MSQ to be ready in time. Like I barely made it. Like I had a day to spare. Um, and like even some of this other stuff, like if you look at my inventory, um, with the 136 gathering from Jenga Curry, uh, what? Who's this? With 136 gathering from Jinka Curry, you'll see that I have exactly one more gathering than required to catch the Endwalker legendaries. So I'm like on the cusp of what like defines failure or success for a lot of this. Yeah, I have 3301 gathering with Jinka Curry. It's about as a it's as close as you can get. <laughs> and I spent all my money on Indigator, 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 Indigator's gear. I didn't even get a full set. Just um, what uh, what actually had like gathering attached and some stuff with extra materia slots. Like I'm um. I'm covering up my money. I have, uh, I have 210,000 gil left. I had almost 2 million. Um, I'm like, and this is like after making some more money back. Like after buying all the bait and stuff, I actually can't afford some of the, some of the like, um, some of the like specific um, goldsmith made lures that you need. So it's just like whenever it's actually time for me to go for those specific fish, I'm gonna have to just like go market board hunting in advance because I don't have like um, a, some of the specific, uh, like I don't have any heavy steel jigs. I'm gonna have to actually like do some comparative shopping to get those. I have, yeah, 210,000 gil. Ah. Alright, nine minutes left in the window. Come on. We got at least one bite, though, so... That's a good, uh, a good start. The only one of these that was a complete flop was, um, the one in the Quadrivium. What's it called? Sinsteet. No, and Golden Kibera, that was also a flop. Those two were, like, no, no, no bite whatsoever. Everything else has been at least a little cooperative. Which is nice. Endo Saras catch was good. 
that was a nice start to the whole thing. <laughs> I should just go straight for the legends. Weren't really that many legends up except for um, Armorfish and Osiris, which I went for both. And Kuno the Killer is like always up, so I'm just kind of ignoring that one. I think Serpent of uh, Ronka, because that's like up like every hour. Maybe I should have gone for that one too. That one's fun. Yeah, maybe I should have gone for the Serpent of Ronka. Oh well, next time. Get out of here. Get out. What do we got? What do we got? I sure hope I can catch the riddle, considering that it's uh, kind of low uptime. I keep saying the riddle, but I think it's actually just riddle. It doesn't have a the. Who is this? <clears throat> yeah, it's just Riddle. It's not like the Grinner. under this specific knee shift bait. Assuming I don't catch another Ithon's Colt. Hmm. Still got six minutes left in this really, really long window. And that's where I'm gonna have to call it because my raid night starts at 8 and we have to be there on time because it's gonna be clipped by maintenance, so we have to get as much time in as possible. Uh, what an annoying time for maintenance to start. I can't believe it. It took my Elid Skad window away. I forget, if did you say Ultimate or Unreal that you were doing? Um, I mix those up when other people are talking about them, even though I know they're not similar. <laughs> I know you said you moved them to you moved to Monday. T, nice. Ultimate raid got moved. Now it's getting maintenance eaten. <laughs> That's so unfortunate. Oh, tonight was unreal? Okay. Oh, that's annoying. It's right before the reset? Oh. Right before the weekly reset, too. Oof. Did you at least get your weekly clear in? Or, uh, clears? Or was that, like, were you counting on that one? Oof. <clears throat> yeah, it's unfortunate. My raid group is like, we're working on the Unreal, but only for like a half hour a week, so we're not like procking it super fast. But like, no one's really expecting to. Um, and so like, half the group just like does their, their weekly clears on Tuesdays. And then it's on Thursdays when we actually try for it. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a healer main, so the last like 45 seconds of this Unreal are very exciting. <laughs> Everything before that is just like whatever because like 
if you die, it's not really anything to do with me. Um, and there's not really anything I can do about it. But, like, that last part is just very... I think it's, I play Scholar, so it's not like I can do that much... I can't, like, output that much healing. And I mostly clear through Party Finder, so, like, sometimes there's, like, two shield healers in the party. And when that happens, it's just like, oh. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, that's basically it. At the very end, or it's just like, does the, the... Ah, uh, you know. There's like the, the, the like, three or four big swings in between the last um, Knights of the Round and before the, the final Enrage. And that's just like... I've seen so many Party Finder... Uh, attempts wipe right there because the main tank just like can't like healers or main tank just like can't quite make it through that um and then it turns out that um the off tank was stacked with the party so he'll just turn around and cleave everyone with one of those huge hits <laughs> i've seen so many wipes to that Party Finder is suffering sometimes. <laughs> Hello, please give me granite crabs. I am trying to... There we go. Oh wait, this is probably Nathan's cult. That was a long bite time. <laughs> yeah, the thing about Thord and Unreal is I've seen so many Party Finder wipes to Enrage, and then I, like, see a clear with, like, a group of people who, like, do static stuff together, or, like, play often together, like, kind of know how to DPS. And it's like they don't even come close to enrage, and I'm just like, huh, that's sure interesting. <laughs> yeah, right? And that fight's so long, and the part where everyone dies is like after the ads phase, which is so long. It's just like, a... I can't believe this is the fight that we have to be stuck with forever. Alright, this is like my last chance. I didn't get it. <laughs> Unless by some miracle I can get one last bite in, in the Alexa. Three seconds? I don't think so. Nope. Womp womp. No riddle for me. Oh well. Alright. Oh well. So final count for tonight. Pulling up my achievements list here. Um, I got one Shadowbringers and three, uh, Realm Reborn, Heaven's Word, Stormblood for a total of four, uh, four big fish. So that was actually more than my initial, uh, list that I was planning to get to tonight, which was, I only had three on my list. Um, in the end, I went for 12, so that's a one in three success rate, um, which is, I think, about... I say it's about typical, honestly. Um, if I can keep that up, that's I'm, I'm probably doing pretty good. So, um, yeah, night one of Bob Goblin Blitz, a fairly short um, stream. I hit two legendaries, and I got one of them, so that's pretty solid. On track to hit my, my 15 legendaries goal. Um, only a, less than a two-hour window. Um, so thank you, um, Thank you, uh, Zen, and also Fruity was here, which is awesome. Um, thank you both for coming. Um, thank you, Chia, for showing up at the end, too. Um, and I am going to 
I don't know what my next stream is going to be. Yeah, Rudy was here. Um, I'm going to be, I don't know what my next stream is going to be. It depends on like what the, the schedule for stuff is. <laughs> I need to actually check what the uptimes are. Um, I don't have raid tomorrow or Wednesday, but I do have raid Thursday and then I am gone the entire weekend. I am leaving Friday morning. I'm going to be gone straight through until Sunday night. So Tuesday and Wednesday are like the only other chances I have to catch stuff. If there's nothing interesting up, I won't be streaming, but I'll probably be catching stuff off stream. Um, and I'll be updating this total here and I'll be recording so that if something cool happens, I'll have it like saved. Um, I won't go for anything too interesting off stream. Um, probably just like the fat purses and the, the fish eyes fingers of the worlds of the of the world um yeah so um that is it for tonight thank you everyone for for coming out um and have a pleasant evening and um yeah thank you uh thank you for coming um i like i like um fishing i like streaming fishing i want there to be more more fishing streaming of Final Fantasy XIV than there is of T Prog. This will never happen, but I think it would be very funny. <laughs> um, thank you, everyone. Yeah, have a good night. I'm switching to my uh, good night screen now. Mm -hmm.